QuickBooks Online 2024 Bank Reconciliation Opening Balance Problem. Get ready and some coffee because we're getting the books on track with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file we set up in a prior presentation. Opening up the major financial statement reports like we do every time. The reports on the left hand side in the favorites. Right click in that balance sheet to open a link in a new tab. Right click in the P&L profit and loss to open a link in a new tab. Same with the trusty TB trial balance. We will tab to the right. Close up the hamburger and change that range up top going from 010124 tab, 022924 tab. Let's do this on a month by month breakout and run it. Then we'll tab to the right, closing the hamburger, changing the range, 010124 tab, 022924 tab, selecting the drop down months and run it. And then we'll tab to the right. Close the hamburger, change the range, 010124 tab, 022924 tab, drop down and months, let's run it. And let's go back to the balance sheet. We're now continuing on with the bank reconciliation process for the first month, that being January. We have this beginning balance issue that we're going to address now. So note that the reconciliation is basically taking what we have currently on the books, 88 645 as of January and reconciling it to what is on the bank side of things. On the bank side of things, we have the 61 241 The difference between the two should be simply outstanding items, checks and deposits that we know on our side, which are not on the bank side, but we have this beginning balance issue. So let's go back into the reconciliation and recap that issue. So we're going to go down to the transactions. We're in the reconcile tab. We're going to resume the reconciling that we started in a prior presentation and the edit info. We have the beginning balance. That's part of an, our issue. It's zero here. It's 30,000 over here. So that's an issue. And then we plugged in the 61 241 We just put the ending balance on the bank statement. That's the normal process. As of the cutoff date, 131.24, we didn't put anything down below in these items. We have the recap up top, the statement ending balance. That's just what we typed in from the bank statement as of the cutoff, January 31st. We have the clear balance, which is consisting of this formula. And this formula should match the summary that's basically on the bank statement. Beginning balance plus additions minus subtractions. So you can see the beginning balance is a problem with the 30,000. The additions, we have the payments that we have are 106. So let's take a look at that. 106.829 minus what we have over here, do, 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 which is the 111.829. And we have a difference of 5,000. So we have a bit of an issue on that one. And then the deposits are at 168.7085. That should match uh, what we're over here. Let me do that one more time. We're at, uh, we're at, we're at, <laughs> where did I go? We're at, we're at the deposit should be 146.7085. So over here, we're at the deposits uh, 168. That's because I have this checked off. Let me uncheck that. 143.7085. And then we're at 143.7085. Okay, so we have an issue between the payments and uh, the beginning balance. So note that this beginning balance problem really just means that we didn't get this in the system as kind of the beginning balance part, but it's still showing up here as our beginning balance that we put into the system, which was 25,000 instead of 30,000. So if this was 30,000, then all what I could do is check it off and just say, okay, this beginning balance is just going to be included here and, and it'll be part of the deposits. And I'll be okay with that. I'll note that in my first bank reconciliation and be able to move forward. So, but even doing that, I still have a problem because this 25,000 is not 30,000. It should be the 30,000, which is the beginning balance uh, over here. 
Why is it not 30,000? Well, because we pulled in this 25,000 from the prior accounting system, which had 25,000 on the balance sheet. So we had to put 25,000 in place because that's the thing that we needed to be in balance to bring over the books. What's the difference between the 25,000 and the 30,000? Well, it's gonna be the outstanding items you would think as of the prior bank reconciliation date, which in this case is December 31st, uh, 2023. So in other words, there were outstanding checks prior to that point in time. And that's why we also have a difference between these cleared items. We couldn't find these cleared items on our bank rec, uh, in our books. And the general rule is if it's on the bank side, it should be on our book side or we should be adding it. So, so, but this beginning balance has a special issue because these checks weren't actually written in January. They were written in December, the prior period. So that's going to be the issue. This 25 that we put on top here is representing uh, 